All right, everybody, mind is equal to blown. It's been a pretty slow Computex so far, but this is by far the coolest product as a passive cooling enthusiast that I've seen so far. So let me explain what we've got here. We have got this Streetcom SG10. And you know Streetcom, they've done some crazy, crazy mini ITX passive cases. But this one, this is like the supersized one. What we're talking about here is about 600 watts, yes, 600 watts of passive cooling capacity. So let me explain to you how that is actually done. But before getting too far into that, I want to thank our sponsors for the show. Without them, none of this coverage would have been possible. Let's talk about how this is actually done because at the heart of it is a partnership between Streetcom and a company called Calios that is really, really focused on delivering passive cooling solutions. So if you can actually come in here, I'm gonna explain the system just a little bit. So there's a motherboard and there's a GPU running in the system right now at a total of about 600 watts TDP. So what we have is two tubes coming up off of each of the blocks, so the CPU block and the GPU block. What those tubes house is actually a refrigerant very, very close to what you would find in a typical air conditioner. Though, in this case, it is not really air conditioning. This is actually whisking heat away from both the CPU and GPU. So there is a inlet and an outlet for that refrigerant. So once the contact plates are heated up, that refrigerant actually vaporizes, going up through one of the tubes and into a bunch of copper tubes inside of this radiator. Actually, you can feel the heat coming off of this right now. Those tubes snake through the radiator and that refrigerant basically gets cooled and therefore drops back down into this loop. This is a lot like the way a typical heat pipe performs, but in this case there's actually some flexibility to the tubes. And of course, in addition to that, that allows them to make a completely fanless solution. Now if we come around to the other side, you're going to notice that there's a lot of openings in this case. And that's just to make sure that there's a little bit of airflow coming through. Of course, a lot of that is due to convection because, of course, hot air rises, therefore drawing cool air through all of these grills underneath. And that, of course, is drawn up. And you can actually, I can feel this heat all the way, all the way up there. I mean, this is 600 watts. Now, if we come around to this side, what you're going to see is the GPU block. You're going to notice that there's VRM heat sinks on that. This is an RTX 4080. You can actually see the GPU load right over here. These little handy dandy indicators, we're going to talk about that in a bit. So that's 100% GPU load and it is running at 60 degrees, completely passively, an RTX 4080. This is, to me, this is, this is the next level of cooling and I, my mind is blown. You can actually tell I'm, I'm so excited about this because it's, it's such innovation when it comes to PC cooling on a passive level. So the other thing that Streetcom is looking to potentially release for this is a full copper edition because what you can't see is inside of this one, the only pieces of copper are basically your tubes that run through the radiator and the contact plates for the CPU and GPU. On the flip side, the copper edition really displays what this heatsink looks like. It is just is just absolutely stunning. Now, how are things mounted in here? And that is really, really unique from Streetcom. So what you're going to get is when you get this case, and yes, it will be produced, they are planning to ship later this year, is pre-done mounts for both the GPU and the motherboard at a 45 degree angle. Now, supposedly that 45 degree angle does help with the way how Calios' technology works with the refrigerant. So that's basically needed. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is the price for this case? And personally, you, you might think I'm absolutely crazy, but I think they might actually be undercharging for it. So for this one, which they are going to be shipping a little bit later this year, what we're looking at is, $9.99 for the whole system without, of course, the components. But we're talking about everything from the radiator, the contact plates, the GPU mounts, everything. So this whole passive case ready to go is a thousand bucks. Yes, it might sound expensive, but when you consider some of the Silverstone cases, just the case itself these days is going for $900, $1,000. Personally, for a passively cool thing like this, that's that's pretty good. On the flip side of that coin, when we're talking about copper, copper is extremely, extremely expensive right now. We could be looking up to 
two, two, two to three thousand dollars. But anyways, look, this is this is not for your faint of heart. This is for a very much passive cooling enthusiast. The other thing that I want to mention is you might be asking yourself, what do they do for the GPU mounting? Because every single GPU is completely different when it comes to the PWM sections, the VRMs, the memory, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what they've actually developed for it. This is a movable GPU bracket where that cold plate sort of goes onto in the middle. It gets bracketed down with a bunch of screws. But then when it comes to the VRM cooling, these can actually move to a certain extent. Then they are held down by these two rods that flip over, get mounted to the other side and can be completely tightened down so they don't move and they provide adequate contact pressure. So anyways, this is, this is completely brilliant in my opinion. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over to the other side very very quickly to talk about those sexy little dials that we just saw. So about those dials that you saw sort of scattered around the SG-10, I, I wanted to talk about those two because I, I absolutely love them. So what we're looking at here is analog dials but they're also slightly digital. Not only would they be reading all the information about your CPU and your GPU through an app that communicates with your motherboard and with the rest of your system, but they're actually made with e-ink. That means through the app, even though this looks like your typical analog dial, every single one of these can be changed to whatever readout you want. Now, pricing for these, pricing. What's pricing? <laughs> pricing for this, for something so unique, is $100 for a set of four. Let us know what you think about that price in the comments down below. But anyways, I'm Mike with Harbor Canucks. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. And I'm so excited for this case, you have no idea. Let me know about that too. Take care, guys.